Okay, this is one of my favorite questions of all time because it deals with revenue. In other words, money. You got money. But you know, as a business person, what you might have to start thinking about is do you charge enough? Now, here's the dilemma. Let's read the question. I'll tell you what the dilemma is in a second here. So the company that charters a boat for tours can sell 300 tickets at $25 each. Now, let's think about this. Let's think about what the revenue is. Revenue means how much money would you make just by simply by selling the tickets. This is not covering costs or anything else like labor or maintenance on the boat or whatever. You're just looking at money. So money here is $25 times 300 tickets. So three times 25 is 75 plus two zeros. You get $7,500 as soon as you sell out that boat. Okay, now here's the problem. Are you charging enough? Think about this. If we increase the price, if we increase the price of the ticket, you're going to sell fewer tickets. That just makes common sense. So let's think about this for a second. If I increase the price by $5, okay, so now I'm going to make this $30. I'm going to decrease the number of people by 20 fewer. So if I think about this, this is now going to be 280 people. I'm curious, what is 30 times 280? Well, I'll bring up the calculator here and let's figure out. Oh, where did it go? There it is. 30 times 280 tickets works out to be, oh, it didn't work out. Here we go, let's try it again. 30 times 280, okay, boom, there it is, 8,400. Well, wait a second, Eight, holy smokes, I made a whole heck of a lot more money. $8,400, oops, $8,400, holy moly, sure, I've got a few empty seats, but holy smokes, I made, like, look at that. Right? I made $900 more just by charging an extra five bucks. So I got 20 empty seats. Whoop de doo. But look at this. I've got a whole bunch more money. And as a business person, that's exactly what you're in for. So let's see if we can actually figure out a few things here in terms of quadratic equations. Let's set this up as a quadratic. Let's go out and graph it and see what we can do. So let's read the question again. It says a company that charters a boat for tours can sell 300 tickets at $25 each. For a $5 increase in the ticket price, 20 fewer tickets will be sold. Okay, my question is, what is the ticket price that would give the maximum revenue? Okay, let's figure this out. So revenue, which we'll call R, is ticket price times the number of tickets sold. So this is price times the number of tickets. That just makes sense to me. Okay, but the price is five or sorry, twenty-five dollars, and I'm going to increase this by five dollar increments. So in other words. That's 5x. So my increments are by 5, 10, 15, 20. My tickets are going to be 300 minus 20 for every increase in price. So the X stands for price increases. Okay? That stands for price increases. How many are you going to have? Now, look at that. I've got a quadratic equation right there. Isn't that interesting? So could I not throw this into the calculator and actually find the maximum price? Well, certainly I can. Let's do that. But before we do this, let's think a little bit here. Let's set this thing up because we're going to have to set up the window settings perfectly. Okay, so think about it. This is going to be revenue up here. This is going to be, oh, I don't know, let's call it increments. That's going to be, well, that's going to have to be increments, the number of increments we make, right? Because that's our X value, and the X value stands for a number of increments. So increments, okay? That's our X value. So think about this. How many increments can we actually have here? Well, I don't know, 5, 10, 15? So my window setting will probably be here, oh, I don't know, going up by maybe... 10 increments, right? My revenue then starts at 7,500. 
and it goes all the way up to 8,500. So you know what? I may have this all the way up to maybe let's say $10,000. Let's see what happens if I'm at 10,000 here. So there's my values. I'm gonna go from zero here to 10,000 here and zero here up to let's say 10 increments here and let's see what happens. Okay, so let's bring up our, my calculator. Y equals two, here it is. Okay, clear all these other values out of here, go back up to here, put in exactly what you see here. This is 25 plus 5x, okay, bracket, 25 plus 5x, bracket, and my other one was 300 minus 20x, 300 minus 20x. Now, before I hit graph, I'm going to go to my windows because I know my windows are wrong. My x values, minus 10 to 10, no, 0 to 10, good enough. And I'm going by an increment of 1. My y minimum, let's go from 0 again to a y maximum, we set up $10,000. Let's see if that works. Let's graph it and let's see what happens. Whoa, look at that. Okay, so I'm going to change my windows a little bit more because I want to see a few more values here. So I'm going to take my window and I'm going to make it not 10,000. I'm going to make it up to about 12,000. Let's see that. That way I get to see that top value a little bit better. Okay, now I'll graph it. Let's see it. There we go. Let's find the maximum. Second calc maximum, which is at four. Four over on this side. It's going to be enter, boom, okay, and find me the maximum over here. Enter, boom, guess, and look at this, 4.999, five, five increments at exactly $10,000. So what does this mean? Let's go back to here. What does this mean? We've got five increments, so X equals to five at a maximum amount of money of $10,000. So question, how many people are going and what's the price gonna be? Well, remember, five increments means 25 plus five times five, which is another 25. Look at this, this guy doubled the ticket price to $50 and check this out, look, how, look at this guy. This is now gonna be 300 minus 20 times five. 20 times five is 100. I've got 300 minus 100 gives me 200 people. He's gonna have, he's gonna have 100 empty seats, but so what? If he charges $50, he's gonna have a whole heck of a lot more money. Isn't that interesting? I love this question because it is now taking math and taking it to something we call the business side.